This video is to people who like my videos or not like my videos in YouTube. So, you did not like my videos. I don't know now what to say, but I made an effort and I used a lot of my energy to do this video to all of you. To you people who like and don't like, press in YouTube that like and not like buttons. Well, I think it's my duty as an artist, what I am about to tell you, my thoughts about that, liking videos. What is that anyway? What it means to me? Unliking videos, what is that about anyway? We all are, have our own view, opinion and taste, what we can express out, how we want in YouTube. One thing is too, that we can behave those ways when we don't press like or not like. We can leave it alone. We have a choice to press like button and not like buttons. Or just leave it alone, not care. Not put effort on it. We can like something in secret and we can unlike something with secret in YouTube. You can also leave comments or don't leave comments. That is all your choice. Your own choice of action, what you want to share with other viewers. Because every like and every dislike and every comment leaves a mark, something to watch in social media. Do we want our opinions and taste about art, music and performances and videos to be seen or not? Well, how much me, we want that really? And do we think it is useful to perform a video maker or not? That's interesting, you know. Is it just useful to us? Do we get the gigs of it when we like and dislike something? And Or maybe to persons who think like us. Do we think other people who maybe think like us? So, is that useful to artists, the video maker, really? How long persons who made the video will was studying video making or arts or music? Is that something we should think or not? Sometimes I wonder this. Do those likers really care? People can like videos where somebody is going to the roof and shitting or something. And then there can be professional artist who has studied arts many years making videos and people don't like it. You know, it's kind of funny, isn't it? What some people like. Maybe they just want something again, something entertaining. What is in their taste and opinion, how video should be. And if it's not, press the unlike button and don't say anything, maybe. Well, what I personally think about liking videos, I think it is okay, but it's not all. Persons can like in YouTube videos, but myself, I don't like those at all. And they can be huge famous, you know. When I don't like something, normally I don't say anything. I don't press don't like buttons, I don't comment, I just avoid that context. If I like something, sometimes I can press like button. I make sure I don't watch videos what I don't like. To me that is enough, that's all. Then I know that persons who keep doing their thing will do it anyway, no matter if I like it or not. Sometimes I don't like something, but I keep watching it again, and then maybe later I like it anyway. Because why would you watch something you don't really like? There's something interesting there then. Advice to all people who don't like my videos. Stop watching those. Don't leave comments, just stop. And if you can't stop, maybe you actually like me. If you don't like me, my videos, but cannot stop my videos, I recommend you to get some professional help or just throw your computer away, you know? Why? Because I don't want to be the artist who makes you suffer. I want to be the artist who brings you some inspiration to your life 
I want to do art what inspires other people to do art. I like that if you are an artist too or want to be an artist and want to make arts after you see my arts, you know? Anything goes to inspire. That is what I'm here for and giving something few. I'm not thinking what I like or don't like. That's not so important. What you like and don't like is not so important to me. To, you, you know, the reason why. Because myself, I don't think it's important to me or somebody else. So that's why I tend to think that way. Hmm. Well, because often I have seen that what I like and don't like, it's not so important to people. So I don't follow that. If you if you want to hear what I really think, I could explain to you more. I want to talk about it. I think that often something what masses of humans like a lot, sometimes it can be totally shit. I don't like it. And I'm used to that. I, I'm used to that, that I don't have the same taste than ma majority of people sometimes. I don't need to prove it or be active about it. It's just the way it is and it's okay. I'm not looking for groups or anything to be with like anyone else. I'm okay just with my own choices and no one has to even know about those because if I like some arts what other people don't like it's it's better to keep it alone then that's right i don't have the need to press like or unlike buttons so much what i know is enough no one needs to know what i like or don't like in youtube i leave it free open and free that is not useful to anyone in my opinion to know what i like and what i don't like that's how i think often Sometimes I don't like something first, but then I begin to like that later. Or sometimes I like something first, but then I begin to feel I don't like it anymore. That happens. So, what if one of persons who unliked my videos publicly will like those next year? That is very clear to me that it could happen. Anyway, she or he made an effort to watch that video and, well... Leave that opinion, thumbs down. That was her choice or his choice at that time. That can change. Like, you know, taste of music and art changes when you get older. It changes. I, I've noticed. At least in my life this happened. Haters don't motivate me. Isn't it kind of cliche to say that haters motivate. Who made up that? I don't personally hate anyone so much as performance or artist of videos. Hate is a strong word and I assume that people who don't like my videos publicly don't hate me. Not liking something is not synonym to hate. I mean hate is like love, it's big feelings. And it can be mixed too, you know? When you hate something later, you can see that, oh, you kind of love that. If somebody likes or don't like my video, I don't think they are haters. To hate is scary. If someone hates something, there is a bigger issue in that person's self to go through. Something psychological, not to do with arts and watching performance. To hate or love is a big emotion. If someone is irritating, it can bring those thoughts that you hate that. But myself, I have discovered in my own likes, you know, what I follow, that what was irritating to me in the past was something I liked when I got older. And not just like, I could even love it. I could trust in it and hold it and want and, you know, in music and arts. Then I wonder sometimes why I hated those so much in youth. Maybe because I have this artistic rebel time on me against everything mainstream or too easy. Too easy from my perspective at that time. I had a period in my own life where I only liked art and music and I was 
getting myself into art and music what is not easy and not open it to me straight away. I like that. Everything like that took my attention and to my taste of art and performing. That was good. Too easy stuff was annoying and did not take my interests. But I did not make fuss about it then so much. To me, persons can like whatever they want and that's cool. It's always good to fan something. I mean, to be a fan is great. And I just hope everyone has that joy in their life. That they feel the joy of fanning something. Mm. If you thought that when you give me critique, when you put thumbs down or thumbs up, like in my video or not like, then I have to say I did not understood that. Because to me, critic means that you say something about it. Things you like it and why, and things you didn't like and why. And I need to hear that feedback. Then it's critic. Just pressing buttons like and don't like is just like expressing a taste, not criticism really. But I see you. I know what you feel about my videos. I thank you for you leaving those comments and watching my videos. A left comment. You did not like that. Not your cup of tea, that's okay. And you like it. You think it's great. Okay, fine. You see, I love what I do. To me, likes and dislikes don't affect to that so much. Or sometimes I think that maybe I do more videos what people don't like. But that's just a feeling. If I feel myself satisfied and good, that is way to go then. I'm not thinking in those such ways what other people like. I'm selfish maybe in that way. If I feel okay with the videos, then I'm like, go for it. But what I like and what I do, when it's good to me, when it works for me, then it's alright. I'm thinking that some and most of my stuff is so artistic that some people don't comment or don't like it because of that. I'm used to that. I'm aware that most people don't even follow or go to see arts, picture arts, performance arts, or artists what are not mainstream musicians. Yeah, what are not mainstream famous, so that mainstream. To me, that is one kind of dislikes sometimes. It's so easy to follow and like something what everyone commercials and recommends and likes. That's not enough to me. Myself personally as a human, I like arts and performance what I don't understand right away. Same goes to music often too. I love being in theater or perf dance performance in audience with feeling that I don't get it. From my experience is that always I get it later, sometimes later, like year or maybe earlier. Good art takes a little bit time to settle with it. Oh, yeah. Time to settle with it. It's not there all at once, always. Sometimes and often that artist puts you to think about it more is better than one who did not. But that is my taste. I try to do sometimes art what people maybe don't understand right away but later. Why? Because I myself like watching those type of arts too. Only because I like that type of art too myself. I, I like that uncomfortable feeling in audience where I feel that I didn't know really understand it and that's and that's maybe annoying feeling too at that time then later i think about it that performance more i try to think what was the thing there and later some point in life i get it that i get it now it feels good they gave me experience to think about something more and i love that i love thinking about things I, I love thinking too much. I think you never can think too much. Yeah, that's what is my taste of good arts. Anyway, my watchers, people who follow me, 
people who comment and like or dislike my videos, thank you. I like to say thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. Order that if you feel like it. I'm honored for your time to see what I love to do. You came to see here in my YouTube channel what I love to do is music and arts and dance. I mean, anyway, you took your time to even watch what I have done, performance videos, music videos and all this, you know? And I think that's great. I feel only good vibes because of that. Keep watching, leave comments, like, don't like, see my vids. Myself, I keep doing those always. And I always think what to do next. Sometimes it's easier to me, sometimes not so easy. You see, I have to actually work a lot every time when I do videos. Nothing comes just like that. Same thing in music and arts. I really work all the time a lot. Even when it seems like it's easy, it's always a process of work to me. So, get it on. Enjoy my artistic videos. That is what I wish. And if you don't enjoy, leave comment or not. Anyway, see you around the videos soon again. And I wish everyone to inspire inspirations to art and performance and everything. Love, Sara Sutinen.